Next element to tackle is here this initial RAM file system that we need to make. Creating this is not required, it says, because make init CPO, which is a new name, was run on installation of the Linux package, so our kernel with Packstrap. We've done that. The special configurations modify this file and recreate the init RAM file image. Okay, so this is what we should do, but they say don't do it. Let's take a look anyway. So let's clear. Because there is something, the reason why I started making this is because we need to compare Arch Linux with Arch Linux and see if there are differences somewhere or if we can improve, improve stuff or something like that. Just a week ago, we made an article how to get rid of all these annoying lines when you shut down. That's this, that's make init CPO. So we can have a look at it. So where am I, by the way? Okay, I'm in ETC. So I'm gonna open ETC and then the file name is called this one. And we have D, a daemon on conf. So we need a configuration file. And the thing we've uh, explained to you in that tutorial, in that article, is that you should go all the way down to hooks and change this to shut down here. That's our tutorial to get rid of all these ugly lines. But that's just one of the reasons why I am installing Arch Linux to see if Arch Linux has the same problem. So that's, um, well, I'm going to keep the standard one, not channel change anything, but that's just want to show you that's uh, where you should change it. File name to write, so cancel, just exit, and no, nothing's changed. Let me show that to you that again. As you can see, where is it? The hooks, there are the hooks. So this line here, at the end, there's no shutdown. So, okay, check. So that's it. So basically they tell us not to run it. Uh, so I'm not going to run it. I'm going to see if everything is okay. So this is the line that should be already done when we installed Linux. Okay, so Control-C, not running it. But that concludes our video here.